Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to take your models from Houdini. I'm bringing them to Quixel Suite for texturing, like this one. Cool, so let's get started. Okay, so the model I'm using is the model from this tutorial here from Quixel. So if you want the model, please go download it from here. So after I exported that, I'm gonna import that. It's uh, I'm gonna import geometry, and you can see the the object is here. I'm just gonna import that. This is the object, and you can see it's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice model. So let's go inside, and we can see that this has two groups: one for the body and one for the mace. If we press a space five and see the UVs, you can see the UVs are overlapping because this should be done in two objects. So let's separate the objects first. Let's go inside. From this drop down, let's select geometry groups. You can see we have the body and the maze here. So let's select the body. Let's go to this modify tab and select extract. If we go up here, you can see it extracted that object. Let's go back inside, select the maze now, select extract again. Now we can turn this off and now we have one for the body here. So let's rename this body and this is going to be the maze. This is important because there's two objects we uh, overlap in UV, so we need them separately. So as you can see, this is the body and this is the maze. Pretty cool. All right. So now we can start adding colors that we can use in Quixel. And for this, we're going to install Quixel colors, which is an application that it's included with Quixel and it's something that I made for Houdini. So if you open your Quixel installation, there will be a colors folder here. And you can see there's the Houdini run py file there. You please open that file and this is what you will see and just copy all that stuff. This is gonna be very simple to set up. You can see I have one here, but I'm gonna add another one. Just right click here, new tool, and then this pops up. Just name it Quixel colors and Give it a label, Quixel Colors. You can give it an icon. If you go to this C program files, Quixel Suite 2, swatches, there's a nice Quixel icon there. Let's add that one. Hit apply. It's there now, but right now it's doing nothing. So let's go to the script section and paste that script that we copied from the file. Apply, accept, and that's all you need to do. So now if we click that, you can see we launch Quixel. There's some information here about the uh, tool. Uh, we have Quixel colors here and you can assign colors to any part of the uh, model. So let's go for the body. And now to select areas of the body, let's go inside. And now let's use the same select, but now let's select 3D connected geometry. Now you can see I can, if I click this, every part there is will have a different color here you can see you can select anything here if you don't want to work with this color just turn this off here just let's select something like the skin and then we go here and search for skin and apply that you can see now we have that color there we can go and select other parts like all these parts are metal parts and these parts are metal all these parts maybe not that part so now that we have all those metal parts we can uh, select something here for maybe steel, steel, and you can see that color is added there. Let's add something else like this uh, fabric. Let's put that. Let's put that fabric there. You can see I have that. So keep adding uh, your color. Let's say that this will be leather. Leather. Simple uh, enough. You can just go ahead and keep adding colors. I'm gonna keep doing that. All right, so I went ahead and added colors for all the pieces. You can see how all the pieces are now colored here. Even the maze has colors. So now to export this for Quixel, we can do we can do just something very, very easy. This tool is helps us a lot to export this. So let's first select the path to export. I'm gonna select that folder. You can see the folder is, the path is here. Now I need to select the uh, the object here we need to be at object level not inside here need to go at object level select the node if you don't have the node selected it will tell you if you try to render it will say select the node please and uh, if you select the node now press render it's going to start cooking that those colors to an, an image 
So just wait a few seconds and you will have uh, your image ready for Quixel. You can see the image it's rendering here. If you see something that is not totally flat, that's something that you missed. So let's close this and find those areas. These areas are the ones that I missed. So let me select those, fit them on the viewport. Oh, no. oh yeah, I can see I missed those parts of the boot there. Now those has a, have a color, so let's render that again. All right, so if you get an error, uh, it's because you are at this level when you try to render. So let's go up, just delete this bake uh, in the output. For now, uh, you have to do it manually. I will fix this later and delete this camera here. So just select the body again. Just make sure uh, to always be at object level before you start uh, rendering. All right, so we have the map here. Everything looks all right. So now I'm just going to close this. I don't even need to save it. It's already saved. Uh, let's do the same for the uh, maze. Just select the maze, press render here. All right, so the maze is rendered as well. And you can close this. If we go to the folder that we are uh, saving this, you can see there's an FVX for the object. Uh, there's a PNG with edges extended. And this is the original if you want to extend it yourself. And the same for the maze. So now we can use this in Quixel Suite. If you just have one object, you can just go ahead and use this in Quixel Suite. You might have uh, to generate other maps like your uh, I mean occlusion and your normal maps if you are doing that. But for now, this is two objects, right? So we want this to be one single uh, multi-mesh object in, in Quixel. So to do that, grab those two objects and press this icon here. This is like a little uh, open box. So it's going to create a subnet. Let's call this a SOG like that. We don't need the Quixel colors anymore. So let's just close it. So now let's go to the file export FBX here. Select the path to save. I'm going to say a sock to put the just drag this here. So the export is that uh, path and just click export. So there you go. There is my SOC uh, 2 FBX and it will have both uh, objects. So now let's go to Photoshop and see how we can uh, import this. We have Photoshop and Quixel here open. Press the D do button here. Import the mesh. Select that FBX that you exported with the two objects. And now you can see we have two objects here. We have the maze. So let's select the material IDs for the maze. I want to use this PNG, which is uh, expanded. Recommend you do the same. I'm going to use the normal. Uh, this normal I got from the original model. Now let's do the same for the body. And there's an AO as well. So from here is just basic quick soul suite stuff. So if you know what you're doing, just select your target, select your presets. I'm not going to generate anything here, but let's say the map target will be Unreal Engine. So let's just create that one. Let quick soul do its magic. And there you go. Quick soul, it's done. Let's open tree do here. And we have our really nice model exported from Houdini with different parts into Quixel. You can see the normal apps are there. If we press C, you can see the colors we added in Houdini. And you can see the groups are here, the maze and the body. All right, so from here, you can just go and do your regular Quixel texturing, exporting, and everything will just work. All right, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really like Quixel Suite and I use it a lot for texturing. If you have questions, please go to mixtraining.com. We have a community forum there for questions. So that's it. That was quick and simple. Now you can take all your models from Houdini, texture them in Quixel and see them in all its glory in your game or even bring them back to Houdini and make some high quality renders. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe and share the videos with your friends. Remember, we have tips every Monday and webinars every Wednesday. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.